Yeah. Okay, so what what day is this? The twentieth? Yeah, it's the twentieth. All right, December 20th, this is Vlogmas Day 20. And y'all need to be liking, subscribing, and rating. They don't even have rate on there no more, do they? <laughs> I just still be saying it. Okay, so I have my cousin Blaine here today. Hey. And because, like, never mind all this chaos that's over here on this station. But because Eric Kirk asked me the other day if I did the full treatment of the soother system and I was like, uh, no, I kind of didn't because I didn't know if they would have a reaction or blah, 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 blah. Well, we're going to do the full thing today because I have a reason to, because we want to make sure her scalp feels great and there's no itchiness and nothing like that. So we're going to go through that whole system today, starting with the pre-cleanse. Oh. So what I'll be doing is parting and her scalp actually does not look bad. So we're just going to basically be simulating what it would be if you had someone who has very, very dry, um, itchy scalp. So she says she has flakes, but clearly we see none. But anyway, what we're going to do is part through and we'll just be applying. And what we would do is apply it to the scalp as so along the partings. Then we'll part again. Yeah, I really need another hand. Basically, either like to go straight downward with the parts, or sometimes I actually will go like this, and I will pike shape them and go like that, and so forth, and then go in and massage as well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and actually start that process. I really just only have one hand to work, so I'm sorry. Okay, guys. so now that you have the pre-cleanse in your scalp and it's working, how do you feel? Feels good. It feels good? Awesome, so now we're gonna go to the shampoo bowl. We're going to the shampoo bowl, and yes, it's dark back here because I turn off the lights, you know, trying to conserve and whatnot. So now we're going to follow up with Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to lay you back a certain way because I don't want your back to get wet. The soother. Because she doesn't have a silk treatment. If she had a silk treatment, we would use the carbon. Okay, my bottle's a little roughed up. Y'all don't judge it. You know, that's one of those first ones. And I know they're going to get better labels for that. I just know they are. But that first one was paper. And it's trying to break down. But then we're going we're gonna to go in with the conditioner next. That. I'm trying to get to a place where you can see it. There you go. Soother. Maybe I should hold it like this, cause that that would be the correct way you read, right? Maybe. I totally did that job upside down the first time. And we'll be back. Now this. It's actually the final step. I'm letting you see the consistency of the product. That is the scalp refresh. And what I'm going to do here is divide her hair and apply it to her scalp. This will go in and basically replenish any moisture loss and um, further soothe her scalp even more. Um, she actually had a few places where she had some sores maybe from like stress scratching or something like that because she said she was scratching a lot in this last semester and um that will definitely help for those sores to heal and to exfoliate that dead skin basically and you'll see me going in with the bottle at first and then I switch up and just put it on my wrist and go old school now, this was the first time that I have done this process in this manner in a long time. I usually actually blow dry the hair first and then apply the scalp refresh after the hair is dry. Just because it seems to slow down my drying time for some reason with certain people's hair. So, a little bit goes a long way and... That is also another reason why I opted to put the scalp refresh on the back of my hand and just right here is where I'm doing that. And then I just dip in, part with my nails, scoop, dip off, rub it in. And it's a lot easier to 
apply and to have product <laughs> control. So you're not using too much or not letting too much come out of the bottle. Now, I do have clients that really enjoy this. And even today, Belaine said it felt amazing because the scalp refresh is mentholated. So when you apply it and then you have the air of the blow dryer going across the scalp, it allows the scalp to just <sighs> like lifesavers. Hmm. Now I'm actually showing you the blow drying part of the blow drying process. And honestly, when you see like a puff of steam slash smoke, whatever, um, that's actually where I was hitting the scalp refresh areas where I was like, okay, still trying to get the rest of this water out of here. And that's why I said it's, it to me allows the hair to hold water so definitely don't use too much i had certain areas where the bottle dispensed a little or i may have squeezed the bottle just a little too hard in a couple places so um ease up but if you notice the hair still has plenty of movement it doesn't weigh the hair down Okay, so here's the finished product. This is natural. Uh, what? Well, I guess she would consider <laughs> maybe transitioning because she did still have some relaxer down towards the ends, but um, pretty straight though, of course. So, how does your scalp feel? It feels really good. Feels really good. Good. Run your hands through your hair and tell me how your hair feels. Feels really soft. Really soft. And oh, soft. clean and it's not itching anymore. Thank and it's God. not itching anymore. Yay. Yeah. So, you're going to give us an update on how the products feel later on, right? Yes, I okay. will. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Now, we got to get up and go outside and you got to strut like on the runway. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. I hope it's a joke.